Have you ever pondered about the culture of the deaf community? The year 1965 was a watershed moment in deaf culture recognition. A profound shift took place, challenging the then prevailing views that saw deaf individuals solely in terms of their hearing loss. This change was largely due to the seminal work, the Dictionary of American Sign Language penned by William Stokoe, Carl Kronberg and Dorothy Casterline. It was in this work that the notion of deaf people having a unique culture was first articulated. Up until then, the concept of deaf individuals being part of their own distinct culture was unheard of. The book not only challenged the medical industry's perspective, but also transformed the field of deaf education. It was a monumental step that helped reshape societal understanding of deaf individuals, moving beyond their hearing loss to recognize their rich cultural heritage. This marked the beginning of a shift in how we understand and appreciate deaf culture. So what exactly is deaf culture, you may ask? Well, deaf culture is a unique societal framework defined by shared experiences and a common language. It's what Carol Patton, a renowned deaf scholar, defines as a culture, a set of learned behaviors of a group of people sharing a language, values, rules for behavior, and traditions. This culture is not just about being unable to hear, it's about a group of people who share a unique way of experiencing the world, a way that is deeply ingrained in their identity and community. They communicate, share, and live their lives through the lens of this rich culture. If you are intrigued and want to learn more, a great resource is Don't Just Sign, Communicate, a student's guide to ASL and the deaf community. This guide is a treasure trove of information about deaf culture designed to help you better understand the deaf community and prepare you to communicate effectively with deaf individuals. Deaf culture is rich and complex and it's deeply interconnected with the use of American Sign Language. Language and culture are inseparable. And in deaf culture, that language is American Sign Language. Imagine the world before the Dictionary of American Sign Language was published. A world where ASL was not regarded as a real language. That was the reality until William Stokoe took the groundbreaking step to break ASL down into its linguistic components, proving that it was more than just, quote, English on the hands or pictures in the air. This was a monumental stride in validating ASL and acknowledging the rich culture of the deaf community. ASL is not just a tool for communication. It's a vibrant living language with its own grammar, syntax, and idioms. It's a language that paints pictures in the air, a language that can convey complex thoughts and emotions with a simple gesture. It's a language that embodies the experiences, struggles, and triumphs of the deaf community. In deaf culture, ASL is treasured, protected, and preserved. It's more than just a language. It's a lifeline, a means to connect, to share, to express. It's the language of vlogs, a platform where deaf individuals can communicate in their first language, their most comfortable language. ASL is the natural language for the deaf, a language that is not forced, but embraced. It is a language that doesn't just enable communication, but celebrates the unique identity and culture of the deaf community. Because at the end of the day, ASL is not just a means of communication, it's a cornerstone of deaf culture. Let's delve into some of the core values of deaf culture. At the heart of deaf culture is the value placed on sign language. Far from being a mere substitute, American Sign Language, or ASL, is the lifeblood of communication within the deaf community. Spoken English, on the other hand, often comes across as a square peg in a round hole, a mismatched tool that doesn't quite fit the needs of deaf individuals. Imagine trying to express your deepest thoughts, your wildest dreams, your funniest jokes in a language that doesn't quite fit. That's what it's like for deaf people when they're forced to use spoken English. It's like trying to paint a sunset with a hammer. That's why there's such a strong push to preserve ASL and resist the imposition of spoken English. ASL is so central to the deaf community that it has even shaped the way deaf people interact online. Enter the world of vlogs or video logs. Vlogs are like blogs, but instead of text, they use video to communicate. This allows deaf individuals to share their stories, their ideas, and their lives in their own language. Another core value of deaf culture is the emphasis on non-speaking. This might seem counterintuitive to hearing people, but in deaf culture, speech can represent confinement, a reminder of a world that doesn't quite understand the deaf experience. These values give us a glimpse into the rich tapestry of deaf culture and its deep-rooted connection to American Sign Language.